Good morning, happy Monday. It is Monday, March 4th. So I'm going to March 4th to school here in a few minutes. I'm going in early. Well, not much or Well, yeah, like 10 minutes early. It is 6, 17, and today is the day that the State Department is coming. Anyway, it is gonna be a doozy of the day. Am I nervous? Yes. Anxious, not nervous, anxious. I mean, it is what it is. I do what I do. I just hope it's uh, what they're looking for. Anyway, that is uh, today. Um, they did tell us the date they were coming out this week simply because of scheduling. So it is good that we know it was going to be a day this week. Um, so our day is today. Um, and that's it. So I'm going to head in. I have a couple things to copy if our copier, if we have one, and if it's working. <laughs> Always fun to find that out. Um, I think I need a couple things. I'm not sure. Anyway, I will talk to you more after today is over. Wish me luck, although it will be in the future, so it would be wishing past me luck, which doesn't really probably work out that way. But anyway, I will talk to you this afternoon. I have seven letters. I have two vowels. I have five continents. I have two syllables. They blank find their ticket to the show. Couldn't. Ah, good they one. They couldn't find their ticket to the show. And it also gave it away because of that. Yes. End of day Monday. I am so happy to report our visit is over from our friends at the State Department. Hopefully we did well. I don't know. They gave zero feedback, talked to no one that I know of. I'm sure we'll get some sort of letter or something saying you did this well, you did this badly. I don't know. All I know is they were in my room for about 20 25-ish minutes, something like that. And kids were doing just what they were supposed to be doing. I was teaching like I normally am. And if it wasn't good enough, then I'm sure they'll let me know. But anyway, everybody did as I expected. And that is all I expected them to be on task and doing what they were supposed to be. So anyway, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to get out of here and go home and decompress a little bit. I need that. I need some decompression time just to quit my head from spinning because this is all I've been thinking about for such a long time now, just getting ready and making sure I had all my ducks in a row and they were lined up very nicely. I'm glad to report. And now my ducks can just, just swim in the pond. <laughs> you know, I'm kidding. But anyway, it is very stressful knowing that, you know, people that are in charge of your whole everything are coming to see what you're doing. Anyway, I am going to take myself home. I'll show you what I have lined up for us for writing time today or yeah, today and maybe tomorrow. We'll see. So this is from the same bundle glitter and third that I pulled last week's writing activity. This one is a Chinese folktale called The Four Dragons. And look at the fun picture at the end. They were super excited. So they read the passage and they worked on the picture today during their writing rotation. And that is really all that was new. Um, we do have a new book project uh, coming out right now, but unfortunately we are down to only one copy machine and it is not a super duper fast one. It's really kind of an older school kind. So because of that, I was not able to get their book project pages to them, but I will show them tomorrow what their choices are. I did have them select their new books today. Um, I'm not sure if everybody did. I, it just has to be a fictional book. Uh, last time it was nonfiction, this time fiction. So that is it. And with that, I am off uh, to go home. I will see you in the morning. Good morning and happy 
happy Tuesday. I'm so glad yesterday is behind us. Having the state department <clears throat> in your classroom isn't a great feeling <clears throat> because you just feel like you've automatically done something you weren't supposed to do, which is not the case, I promise. Anyway, I am just so thankful that that is over. I'm not feeling super duper great and just having this behind me is really good. Um, I came home last night from work and I walked upstairs and I went to bed. I'm not making that up. I am not exaggerating. I did not eat dinner. I did not, I took off my makeup. I brushed my teeth and I got in bed and I stayed there. And I read and I watched some videos and I just relaxed. And I didn't realize how stressed out with all the paperwork and all that stuff. I mean, I did realize I was really stressed. I don't think I realized to what extent. So feeling very glad to have that behind me. Now just to go forward and do my job, which is what I've always just wanted to do. Anyway, um, yesterday I had a lot of pain. Um, I don't know if I said or not. I think I did say that um, my sister put Botox in my TMJ area, whatever that temporal, men anyway, that place, joint, um, mandibular joint. Yeah, anyway, put Botox there because I am a really bad teeth grinder and it gives me headaches and I had read that that was helpful. And so she did that and it is just now, um, I can tell that it is there um, because my jaws are looser. They're like not as tight, which is really good, except for not last night, but the night before, I must have really been trying hard to grind because it hurt really bad all day, right? Just in there. So feels better today. It still is weird. It just feels odd. Anyway, um, today at school, we're just doing our regular stuff and I just couldn't even, we, we always do our regular stuff, but without the stress today, I'm just going in and being a teacher and it feels good. Today is where Re, uh, words to read on your shirt. So I'm wearing my reading rainbow and my read earrings. Love a good uh, spirit day. Anyway, it is very late. It is 641, but okay, that's okay. It's a minute late, but I'm not out the door yet. So I am ready to be out the door. I'm gonna head out and I will see you after school. Hercules, if it wearies me so much in 10 minutes, how must it have wearied him in a thousand years? Hello and happy weekend. Just kidding, it's Tuesday. <laughs> but boy, did that sound like magical music to my ears. I'm tired. But wait, wait, good news. Only, why is this not going off? Only eight more days until spring break. Oh my gosh, we are in need of spring break. We all are. It's spring and we need a break. Please and thank you. So normal jobs, um, and I don't count my job as one, um, you may not understand the need for a spring break because you may say, well, the rest of us have to work all the time. Yeah, but do the rest of you wrangle um, cats? <laughs> do you herd kittens? Do you nail jello to trees all day, every day? Because that's what teachers do. No, it is, it is, it's a little bit nutty. I'm telling kids things like, will you please not bang your head on the table? And why are you using the book um, in that particular way. One of them today had it up their shirt and under, I don't even know what was happening, but it wasn't good. And why are you um, eating that pencil? You know, do you say that in your job every day? Do you? <sighs> I've done a normal job and this, this isn't it. I set the phone down here for a minute while I, oh, just kidding put it right here while I get the bathroom pass ready for tomorrow. So I take the one from today. 
and I hold on to it in case anything crazy happened in the bathroom that needs attention. And I hold on to them for a week. Tomorrow is the sixth, just saying. Um, hold on to them for a week, and that way, if anything were to go awry, <laughs> not that that happens here, but if it were to happen, I could turn it over to the authorities, meaning admin. So anyway, that is that is that. Tomorrow is what? Well, it's Wednesday, but what special fun day do we have tomorrow? Let me check. Today was uh, words on your shirt. I think I said that this morning. And as it turns out, on my ears. And another teacher had these same earrings in different colors. So I just took a, a selfie with her. Um, tomorrow, ooh, tomorrow I get to wear my fun pants. It's we're wild about reading. So I bought some animal print pants. Go find something more fun than that, I dare you. So anyway, I'm feeling spicy today, can you tell? I bought some fun pants that I'm gonna wear and they're comfy and that's what makes them fun. Um, plus also they're animal print. So I'm just wandering the room right now, going through some things, um, trying to get my life together and it's mostly going well. So that's good. I'll show you what we did. Why did I just turn this back on? No idea. Um, show you what we did today for our writing and it's going to be the same thing for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, because Thursday, Friday, we are doing our transcend test. And so they're not going to have a ton of time. So I gave them this one assignment and I gave them four days to finish. I figured normally it may take them two. So I'm giving them four. I'll show you. This is another product by one of my favorites, Kim Miller. And this is comparing themes and topics on myths. So we have, what is that weird noise? Can you hear that? Anyway, maybe I'm the only one. No, somebody must be running their water over next door. Um, Thor's Mighty Hammer and then Perseus and Medusa. Then they have some questions and a Venn diagram that they have to do comparing and contrasting. So very good practice. And that is really it for today. That's all. I'm going to clean up this joint and then I'm going to get out and go home. Yesterday I went home and went to bed and I'm not exaggerating. I did not eat dinner. I barely took off my makeup and brushed my teeth, crawled into bed, and that was all she wrote. So today I'm hoping to eat dinner. First of all, make the dinner, then eat the dinner, clean up the dinner, and then go to bed. <laughs> so whoo, my schedule's full tonight. Actually, that is kind of full for me right now because it, things are things are hard and busy. Um, anyway, I'm just glad that today was um, was successful. It was good this afternoon, a little wonky, but that seems to be a theme around here in the afternoon. So I am going to clean up and go home. <laughs> I will see you again in the morning. Don't run with scissors. Also, when I say put your name on your paper, this is not, not what I had in mind.